Can you destroy an entire city with the power of balloons? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to City Smash. It's been a while since we've played City Smash, but the nice part about that is that there's a whole lot of new things to smash cities with. So let's explore our options, shall we? What's in the missile section? Well, of course, there's a nuke. I, oh, you can, oh, you can adjust the settings of the nuke. So like, can we make like a, a kind of little tiny nuke? Is there such thing as a tiny nuke? Is that, is that even, I don't even think that's physically possible. Although I will say the explosion, very impressive. The destruction, not so much. We'll just ignore the fact that that entire region is now fully irradiated. Okay, little baby nuke, kind of lame. Let's make big daddy nuke. Oh my gosh, this, there's no chance. <laughs> Nothing is gonna survive. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I mean, it vaporized an entire lake, so um, Safe to say that bridge has had better days. What about a city? How do they handle Mega Nuke? Probably not great. Yeah, okay. This, this is pretty strong. So nukes, yeah, that's a great way of destroying a city, but what about fireworks? Um. Holy cow, that's some powerful fireworks. Oh my gosh. Yo, you need to be careful with those things. Okay. That was the most beautiful and destructive fireworks show I've ever seen. And check this out. Now we can blow up a nuclear power plant with nukes. That seems like just a terrible idea. I mean, <laughs> it's incredible. This just turns to dust in an instant. Okay, stop using the nuke. It's too powerful. But there are other ways to destroy a nuclear power plant, like with the power of chemicals? Oh, it's acid rain! <laughs> oh no! Look at the cars! They're just melting! Oh, okay, yeah, so, you know, it, acid rain seems pretty bad, but then stack on top of that an acid rain flood? That's extra bad! Sorry, nuclear power plant. What about tornadoes? On the moon! They're still pretty destructive, apparently. I don't think tornadoes on the moon are, are a thing that can actually happen, but that's okay, because it's still kind of awesome for us, not for the moon colony. And then, of course, you gotta watch out for, you know, moon volcanoes. Pretty common occurrence, I would say, out there on the moon. <laughs> It just, it just grew out of the ground and started spitting up fire. It's like the moon had Taco Bell last night. What is this thing? Is this a black hole? Yeah, okay, that's a black hole. Uh, we can also <laughs> we can change the force of the black hole. Goodness gracious. Okay, so they blow up at the end. That's, uh, that's nice. How about just like a little baby black hole? No one's scared of a baby black hole, right? Are we scared of baby black holes? Okay, yeah, we're... We're still scared of baby black holes, apparently. What is this thing? Is it, is it a portal? It is! It's a portal! Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Okay, I we need to try this at the naval base. Sure. They'll appreciate this technology. <laughs> I love it. It's just sucking everything up and then spitting it right back out. What's this thing? Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's an orbital cannon. Uh, that we can launch with our fingertips. Powerful finger. What about some of these monsters? Okay, so we've definitely seen, uh, the octopus monster. <laughs> I love this thing so much. It's so good. Did you hear it? This is a grumpy octopus monster. And then we have, uh... Knock off Godzilla. This is the Godzilla that you pick up on the bottom shelf at the, the market, you know, in, in a bag. Does anybody understand that reference? The generic cereal, you know, the, the regular cereal comes in a box, but then you can get the generic stuff in a bag on the bottom shelf. Do they still do even do that? I don't know. And then, of course, we have, uh, you know, earth-eating worms. 
can I spawn more than one? I I can. I I yep. Yep. I definitely can. But I'm pretty sure that this thing is new. Oh my gosh, I can control it. Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. Look at this thing, it's so scary. What is this blue button? I don't know what the blue button does. I mean, the red button shoots a laser beam of doom. This, this guy is like climbing on stuff. The blue button, oh, the blue button changes the height. Okay, I understand, sort of. It's not every day you get to drive an alien spider monster. So I'm just kind of learning the, the controls. It seems appropriate that this kind of creature would destroy our moon base. <laughs> It's <laughs> really good. <laughs> you gotta get down there. You gotta, you gotta get down. You gotta crouch a little bit to take out those those lower buildings. You're a little too tall, spider monster. There you go. Good job. Great, great work. I'd give Alien Spider Tank five out of five stars on Yelp. I don't know why it would be on Yelp. Oh, remember this? So we can actually. Oh, I, okay, yeah. I was gonna say we can change the uh, the terrain. Holy cow. Okay, don't you hate it when you build a perfectly good city and then mountains just show up one day, blow up your city? Rude. That, that is awesome. Honestly, this has to be one of the coolest things that they've added to the game. Just look at that. We could turn the whole city into a lake. Check this out. And then we fill it up with water. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. We need this lake to go deeper. <laughs> Look at that. You can also lower the elevation in an instant, which is kind of amazing. All right, we'll just, just drain all that water. There you go. There you go. All the way down to the core of the earth. It's a beautiful city. I just wanted to see the skyline behind the city. That's all. I wanted a great Instagram picture. People are going to go crazy about this. It was all worth it. What about bridges versus mountains? <laughs> yep. Safe to say mountains win. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Oh, man. I have way too much power right now. Hey, we haven't blown up future night city. Let's do it. Are any of these things new? What is this? What is this thing? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's just like a bunch of cluster bombs. Um, oh, you can actually increase the amount of... Oh my gosh. A hundred bombs in one go to overkill. It's never stopped me before. Oh, <laughs> oh man. That was majestic. Let's do that to another city. It's like exploding dust. I just go... <sighs> And then that happens. How about the moon base? What do you think of that? Seems like they're big fans. All right, what's going on with the airplane section? We oh, okay. So so first of all, we've got like the 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 bomber jet that <laughs> just crashes into a building. Great job, the pilot guy. And then this is like a carpet bomb, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep didn't like those buildings anyways. Then we got UFOs. What do they do? Like Independence Day style? Yep. And we can also adjust the, the damage that that does. Let's change the blast radius to 100, shall we? Get them. This is not good for, for them to be clear. Goodness gracious. That like jolted me. But I'm pretty sure these two bottom ones are new. We got abduction. Oh, we can fly it. Oh, we can abduct buildings. You're coming with me, building. I don't know what we're going to do with you, but come with me to my home planet of Zorb. That's right. My planet's called Zorb. So what? Oh, and we can also uh, shoot a, a thermal beam of destruction, you know, in case the ability to pick things up and then just drop them on a whim wasn't enough. Why not microwave them in an instant? Let's see how the nuclear power plants feel about microwave beams. Honestly, I think they love them. <laughs> too much power, man. Oh my goodness. You know what they should do in this game? Is just combine all of the cities so that you can just go from one end all the way to the other end. Just fly across and 
decimate everything in your path. That would be pretty sweet, right? Right? Oh, maybe the devs are looking at the comment section. So if you agree with me, just, just leave a little comment. They might see that and be like, oh, okay, okay. Okay, and then the last thing on this list just appears to be a balloon. What do you do with a, what do you do with a balloon? Wait, wait a second. Oh my gosh. It's real life up. That is incredible. Okay. I want to pick up an entire building. Let's make that happen. Which building is the question? Hmm. How about this one? This this one right dead center. I like you. You're going places. So we need to pick it up from the base. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Balloons are way too powerful. Look at it. Look at this. I'm just I'm spawning balloons left and right. Can I pick up the cars? No, oh, look at that car! <laughs> Yo, the balloons are insane. This is amazing. It's, it's too powerful. Balloons of destruction! And as if it's not enough for the balloons to just rip these buildings from their structures and bring them into the sky, then they just pop at the top. They're like, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. Drop them hundreds of feet up in the air oh man i like balloons a lot this is a very good addition let's go to the moon let's see how the moon feels about balloons hey guys it's party time what are we doing what's happening they're like we don't want to party we don't like this party anymore i need i need more on the satellite please we got to get okay the satellite just got vaporized we got some some rocket silos Yep, okay. When when your rockets don't work, just just attach some balloons. Look at this thing. <laughs> We're gonna keep it up there. I'm gonna try to keep it up there for as long as I can. Let's, let's see if we can keep it. Keep going, bud. You got this. You're flying. You thought because they turned the thrusters off that you could never fly again. Well, think again. We've got the technology. Balloons. I would say to the moon, but we're already on the moon. So to to Mars? Nuclear power plants feeling kind of down. Let's give them a lift. <laughs> oh man. Oh, dad jokes. I'm allowed. I'm a dad. Goodbye nuclear silo. That is so insane. That was awesome. The fact that it picked it all up in one piece. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's do another one. And you know what? While we're at it, let's do the other one. Get up there. We need more balloons. We need more. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, too many balloons. My bad. Sorry. Hey, what about that bridge? How insane would it be if we could just pick up the whole bridge? We have to try. So start from one side. And then just make your way across. Yep. That worked exactly how I drew it up. Let's try that again. Maybe we pick it up from like the the main supports. You get one there, one there. Maybe pick up from from there. Can we? We need more. We need more more balloons. Come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. We have the power. We have the balloons. Okay, okay. Is it moving? I don't know if it's actually moving. This would be awesome to see in real life though. I don't necessarily think I would want to be driving on this bridge because it's probably about to blow up, but seeing like a full-size bridge just covered in balloons, that would be so awesome. All right, we're gonna have to give this thing some, some extra lift. I think we have to start lifting the actual bridge itself which is a little scary. Yeah, yeah, okay, we've got we've got movement. We've got explosions. We need to be careful about the cars. The cars are what's kind of messing this up. Let's see, let's see, maybe, maybe. Just rip that guy up. Just, just, just rip it out of the ground. Come on. You can do it, balloons. Bridges are strong. All right, fair enough. The bridge is proven that they're balloon proof. That's that's good to know. So if you do ever see a bridge covered in balloons, you're probably okay. Probably. 
unless they're filled with hydrogen. Because that's extremely flammable. How flammable, you ask? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Pretty flammable. Although I will say, the bridge is probably the strongest structure in this entire game. Would you look at that? Is it Godzilla proof? I know that when bridge engineers are coming up with the design of a bridge, they're thinking, is this thing gonna survive an attack from Godzilla? That's one of the first things they use as a, as a benchmark. Looks like these engineers failed their job. 